Hey y'all, I'm back with a Traveler's Notebook process video, and this is in my ringed, I guess, size Traveler's Notebook, so it's not an actual travel Traveler's Notebook, but I have made it a similar size, which is why I call it that. So I absolutely love this notebook. This is probably one of my favorites, and I definitely prefer it over a regular Traveler's Notebook, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to use, like, the bound traveler's notebook anymore or like the stitched or stapled ones um so this is just a fun way to kind of put your own together and it's super easy so if you haven't seen that video i'll link down i'll link the video down below where i created this one so i am doing this video for feed your craft and um for those of you who don't know i am on their creative team and i just love their products i love that she has a digital um page or PDF or whatever each week and or digital elements I should say and the stamps are amazing every single month um, and so I am first I'm cutting out some of the um, cut aparts or the digitals and I actually didn't use my print and cut feature on this because they cut super easily with um, your scissors there are a lot of straight edges and so I didn't want to go through that extra step of using my silhouette so I'm also using the stamp set that has a lot of cute sayings on it, um, some gratitude sayings, and then it also has um, some leaf elements, and then it has like small numbers. It has like places to write the day, the date, that kind of thing. So um, I thought that was super fun and really versatile for the fall season or really any season. Um, I'm using the stamps to kind of accent some of those digital elements and I forgot to mention earlier that I'm actually using a little pocket on this particular um, spread and so I have a pocket that I've cut down and so it has two three by four pockets and then the first ink that I use was Versafine Onyx ink that I love and I use that pretty much in every anytime I stamp I pretty much use that and then I also use this Kelly per Perky purple ink um, and I'm actually in the like kind of the mindset of wanting to change up my inks and really just like refresh all of mine. And so if you guys have any suggestions, um, I was told that the close to my heart inks are really good. And then I used to be a fan of the Stampin' Up, Up inks. And it's not that I'm not a fan anymore, but I just haven't purchased them in a, a really long time. And so let me know if you guys know if those are still good. Um, and I am a fan, I'm a fan of dye inks, uh, mainly because I'm lazy and I don't want to wait for stuff to dry, if that makes sense. Um, so let's see, I'm trying to figure out, oh, so I used one of the Project Life cards to, um, kind of matte or layer my photo, um, in that left-hand corner on the left side or left hand corner, I guess that makes sense, bottom corner. And, um, I used a couple of the little square grid pieces to, accent the top of that like craft piece on, on the left side as well and then one thing I love about ringed um traveler's notebook uh like size scrapbook mini book whatever you want to call it you can get some really good um images when you're stamping because it isn't um on top of bulk if that makes sense so I'm using the leaf icon just to make a background and I realized I could have done that prior to adhering things down but um it was kind of an afterthought also, I use stays on ink to stamp right on top of my photo. Um, I've been using like some semi-gloss photo paper and I kind of like it better than glossy. And maybe I'm late to the game on that, but um, I'm it's by HP, I think, if I can remember correctly. And then I actually just bought some new, because um, I ran out of photo paper, so I bought some new semi-gloss paper to kind of like try it out and it's by Canon and it's in the four by six size because I noticed that the HP paper on Amazon at least didn't have like the four by six size of semi-gloss they only had eight and a half by eleven which I was totally fine with because I'm starting to print like bigger photos now which I which I've been loving so I added my little date to a label and then added some enamel dots that also came in our kit and then that is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this process let me know if you have any questions and let me know your thoughts on the Ring Traveler's Notebooks and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.